everyone, this is Chris. Thank you for joining me. Today's video is about Christmas ornaments and we are going to be using UV resin for this. And I'm gonna use the, one of my favorite brands here in UV resin. It's from um, Resin Pro. It's a brand that we can find here in Europe. And this is absolutely gorgeous not so uh, difficult to do. It takes a little bit of time if you want to really make something nice and well done, like when you use UV resin. But UV resin, what I like with it is, it is that you have a long time to play with it, which you don't have if you use epoxy resin. You're limited sometimes between 15 and most of the time 30 minutes because it starts to harden. Here you don't have to uh, hurry up. You really have a lot of time. So look at this. It's really curved. You've got this dome effect. Um, it's colorful. You can use different colors. We're going to paint on it. Also we're going to use um, gel pens to put all the, the yellowy part. It's really fun and easy to do. And maybe you haven't seen that yet, but if I put my hand here, you can see that I've also put some snow, fake glittery snow on top. I'm not sure you're gonna be able, or the camera is gonna be able to catch up on the glitter, but I have put some glitter here and there. Um, on this one, not that much. The snow is glittery here at the bottom. And here you can find some glitter a little bit in the blue. Depending on how I put it, you're going to see that. I've also included a few uh, little things in here like a moon, little stars. So it's going to be different. There's another star in here. It's going to be different every time. And of course, you can change the colors with your own. Just I'm going to give you a few techniques here and then you'll be able to customize this as you wish. So, with no further ado, let's start making some Christmas ornaments. So, for this project, you will need some wooden embellishments that you can find right now in any stores because these are so popular. They're wood, made out of plier wood. They're quite, they're, they're thick enough to do what we need to do, but they're very lightweight, which is nice. They come in this natural color. You're going to be using, um, for the coloring, I'm using piñatas, but you can use your Ranger or Tim Holtz. Um, alcohol dyes is perfect to work with UV resin because I want this transparency to work. If you don't have that, you can also use the Vitri color. This one is quite ugly. Let me show you maybe another one. Like, for example, maybe this one. Okay, that's the Vitri. It works very well with uh, UV resin. Otherwise, use very specific um, dyes for UV resin because acrylic is not gonna work, especially if you mix it with it because it's gonna be too opaque and it's never gonna dry. Then I'll be using some of the little embellishments. You can find these. They are specifically made for nails normally, but they're perfect and I use them all the time in my resin uh, projects. So there's different shapes, little uh, stars in here. There's the moon. So I'll see if I can use some of these if, if they're not too big in my project. And you're gonna use also some tape. So I've already, so I decided to use this one. So you can cut a little bit of transparent tape like I've just did. I'm gonna look for the side that I don't like so much and this, there is something here I don't like so I'm, I'm gonna use the back of it. So I'm using also some white cardstock just to put it underneath and I'm putting, there are different ways to do this but to make sure that my resin is not gonna seep through I like to put my tape directly onto this object because it's quite big and I'm gonna burnish here everywhere with my finger. You can use a bone folder for this if you wanted to. That's a good idea. That's what I'm gonna do right now. And make sure that my um, UV resin is not going to bleed outside my ornament. If I can help it, if I can avoid that, that's even quicker afterwards to clean it. Otherwise, you can cut it with scissors. It's not a big issue. So I'm really trying to do that as well as I can. Now I'm gonna take another piece to cover the rest of it, and two pieces are gonna be enough. And I'm gonna even put it on top. There you go. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. really burnish it well. 
to kind of make it waterproof or sealed. Right, now you can take this apart. And now I have a nice place to work on. Just make sure again it's well burnished. Yep. And press down. There you go. All right. Now I'm going to use some of these little containers. They're made for UV resin. They're very easy to clean. I'll show you that in the end. And you're going to be able to put your resin inside and also your inks. If you don't have this, you can use another piece of paper. I've put also some um, adhesive on it. This time it's not the sticky part up, it's the sticky part down, the way you could use it normally. And you can use all you can use this as the way you can mix your colors and then pour it in. There are different ways. Since I have these and they're very useful, I'm going to use these up. So I already had this one I started with and I'm going to do some white. So the colors I'm going to use right now are about the same then in the, the one I showed you previously. And I'm going to use white with some glitter and I'm going to use a little bit of blue also for the top here of my trees. So for the white, I'm going to use again piñata because it dries very well even though it's opaque. And Resin Pro, which is the brand I was talking about previously, I'm going to put some in here. I don't want too much because where I'm going to put the white here is there in the holes at the bottom of the trees and probably a little bit here as well. Okay, like there, if there was a mountain in the background. I think I'm going to come a little closer. There you go. So my resin in here. And I would do and prepare all of my pieces. So if you have leftover white, this one is already ready with your tape on. And you can do the same thing if you want to put and add a little bit of white here and there. So you're not going to throw that away. And that's what I already done with this one because I needed some more white. I have some spaces where I can still put some more white here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see the white there. So if, I'm not going to waste anything. That's really interesting. Prepare all the molds all the time. Now I'm going to use a little bit of my white piñata. I like to give it a good shape before. And then two, three. Mm, I think it's, I okay, four. Four little drops, but they're really tiny. Then I'm going to mix it, and I'm using these kinds of tools that you can find everywhere. Um, if you want to, I can put the links. In case I forget, just tell me, hey, you didn't put the links of the tools you've used, and I will do that. Sometimes I just think about it first, and then when I put my video, I'm always in a hurry, and I want to make sure you're going to have it on time. All right, I'm not going to add glitter right now because it's going to be opaque. And if I add glitter, you won't be able to see it. So I'll add later on top of it later. All right, and I always have this thing here. That was just a little try. I'm going to take these out for now. And a little paper napkin because that's going to be useful to clean your tubes as well. I'm going to put that in. And now I can use this because I've got this pointy piece here. I can use that to pour it in. A little bit here too. I'm going a bit too fast, but that's fine. I'll show you how you can get rid of that. And to go into the little crevices here and there, now I'm going to use this as well. I'm just going to rub it on top and take all the excess away. And if there are some little bubbles, don't worry, we're going to put the lighter on top as usual. Okay, that's fine. Try to have a flat table. It's always better. And now I'm going to use that one again and go into my tiny little holes here. I don't want to really have any gaps. If you do, it's not going to be a big deal. And one more here. Sorry if I had my hands in the way. One more 
there I didn't fill it up and you don't have to go all the way up I'm not filling it straight up to the edge there because when everything is done I will put a last coat of total transparent um, UV resin and you could start by putting just a clear uh, UV resin at the bottom to make sure that your colors are not going to seep through. I'm not worried about that too much. I'm going to go directly with the colors. I can see some bubbles popping out a little bit here and there. So I'm going to use my lighter. You can use a torch. Be careful because you've got the the adhesive that might burn a little bit so go very quickly. I think I'm going to put a bit more just there. And here too. You could color before beginning. What I haven't think about is maybe coloring this in another color. You could put your trees green if you wanted to. That could be an option. Uh, with acrylic paint. I'm going to do something a little different and I'll show you that at the end because there's something you need to, to know before and you'll see it by yourself. So now at this stage I think it's enough for the white. I know you can hardly see it but it's just there and I'm going to add a little bit of glitter. So I'm going to use another tool, which is this tiny little spoon, which I think is absolutely convenient. And I'm going to, first I'm going to do is use my lighter and take all the bubbles off very quickly. Okay, that's good. And now I'm going to add the glitter. Because I don't want to put, just shake it on over it. I could shake it. That's a bit too much. I could shake it. I don't want to do that. I don't want to have too much access everywhere. I don't want my whole stuff to be covered with glitter. At least not now. I can change my mind whenever I want. So a little bit of it is going to sink down. I'm doing that just right now, a little bit on top. If I need to and everything sank down, what I can do uh, what is dry is come back and pour a little bit more. Did I put enough a little bit more around here? And here as well. Now that I'm happy with this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it under my UV light that is quite big. I don't have a, I do have a small one, but I think it's much um, simple to do that because while this one is under the UV lamp, I can work on the other uh, ornament I have. So I'm going to put that about two minutes and I'll be back when it's done. Oh, and by the way, I should recommend you to wear gloves because if you have any resin on your hands, it can be uh, tough to get away. Otherwise, use alcohol, rubbing alcohol, like 99% or as high as you can, 97% if you can, and you'll be able to take it away before it dries out. Now I'm going to go on with some color, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go back with resin. And I'm going to be more generous now with the resin because I'm going to, I know I need quite a lot. I'm going to use another one here. This one is empty. I'm going to use a little bit of this piñata, the blue one. And because I can already see some bubbles, I'm going to take these away. There you go. The sooner you can do that, also the better. And I'm going to add two two to three drops here. Okay, that makes three. And I'm going, to sh I'm going to make sure that it's enough. Go slow on the inks because they do are, they are very vibrant. You see three was plenty enough, maybe a bit too much. But I want to have a nice blue background. But it's still going to be translucent which is what I like. 
Okay, so you can use this if you are afraid to going too crazy with that tool with my little container. I'm not, I'm not going to be shy. I'm going to go there. And I'm going quite slowly, slower than I was doing it before. And I'm not trying to put it everywhere at this stage. I'm going to spread it apart with a toothpick. All right. Okay, so I'm going to use that toothpick and drag all the UV resin where I want it to go. And I might go even a little bit on top of my white here. And I'm going right up to the edge there, I mean on the side, not the edge, but on the side. Helping it by moving it along a little bit here and there. So I won't have any gaps or holes. I hope my fingers were not too much in the way. And you probably are able to see that the wood is kind of drinking, absorbing a little bit the color. You can see here on the edge of my tree and even here the little star is kind of getting a little bluish. So I'm going to try to work fairly quickly here so everything is not going to become blue and we're going to cover it up later. As I said, you could have put a white acrylic paint on top of it if you wanted to, white or maybe uh, gold or silver. And I'm going to drag that one here a little bit. If I think it's too dark, I drag it around up to here. So I'm going to have quite a small and thin layer. And with UV resin, actually, you have quite a lot of time to work with. Uh, it's not like epoxy resin where you have usually between, I don't know, maybe 15 to 30 minutes to play with, depending on the temperature of the room. Here you have much more time. Just think about one thing. Don't do this in front of a window if you're working during daylight uh, because it's going to start curing. It's UV, so it cures also with the sun. You could put this at the sun and it would cure too. Probably much lower than what it would do with the, under your UV lamp, but it would work. Okay, this one I think I need a bit more. I can see too much my white background here. So I'm adding a little bit more. And at this stage I'm not going to add anything in here because if I were to put my little embellishments I showed you a little earlier like these, we would not really be able to see them because they would sink through and because the water, I mean the, the resin is colored, we wouldn't be able to really see them. They're going to disappear somewhere in the background. So I'm going to put this under my UV lamp and I'll be back when it's cured. All right, so now this is cured. Can you hear that? That's good. What I would like to do, since I still have a little bit of blue resin, is probably add a little bit more here. So maybe it's going to look a bit more uh, um, darker. I'm going to give it a try. Here and there. Is it going to work or not? If it's not working that much, I'm just going to add a tiny bit in here and I'll mix with it. Just one more and put the cap on very quickly because it's alcohol ink so it's going to evaporate very quickly. So again I'm mixing it. And I'm going to add a little bit here and there. Just because I want that extra 
ombre darkening sky and you need to be patient when using resin whether it's UV or epoxy resin just because you need to work um, differently than you would work with anything else add a little at a time it's still not as dark as I wish it would be so again I'm adding a little bit more All right, and I'm not putting any black in here because black is going to make it too opaque. I think this is going to be good now. And I'm really not putting much. Can you see that? It is starting to get darker. That's, that's perfect and a little bit here as well. That's just me. You don't have to take that extra time. It's just me and I and I want to show you all the options you have. That's going to be good for now. I'm going to use my toothpick again and really drag all the colors all the way up where I want them to be. And in here too. Yes. If you can see any bubbles, use the light for that. And then you can use your lighter and take them out. Yeah. In real life, you can see that it's much darker, so that's perfect. I'm going to put this aside, and I'm going to put this under the UV light again, and come back when it's all cured. First, when, before doing this, in case, I'm going to put my lighter and take away all the bubbles. All right, so now that this is dry, I'm just going to check. Yeah, I can hear it's dry. Okay, that's good. Now that this is dry, what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer my little ornaments that I have put aside previously. So I'm, I have here a little star and I'm going to put that one maybe in here. And I have a bigger uh, moon. I've got a big moon here. I'm not sure if I can find, maybe I can put it there, yeah. I can see a space probably there where I can put it. I think I like it. Now I, I know you can see the blue here on the tree. Again, don't worry. I like the moon just right there. Yes. Then I have these little uh, pieces there. I like the colors. And I have other blings here that I really like too. So I'm going to put that inside there. So you can go with so many decorations. Just use what you have. If you're a card maker, I'm sure you have everything you need to put inside there. All right. So this one here, they will look like stars. That's good. And I have also these little flat bag beads, tiny, tiny, tiny. Let me get that one there. That they will look like stars as well. I'm going to put this one in here. And I like gold. If you prefer silver, just go ahead with silver. I've got another here that has another color. Um, I don't want to put too much, but a little bit of, of blings don't hurt. Just need to put it back straight. Yes, and probably just one last one around here. Okay, right now you can't see much, but when you move it along, it does have a very nice look to it. I'm not going to add any um, 
Am I going to add a little bit of the glitter? I do think I want to have, maybe not everywhere, just a little bit of glitter here and there. And I'm not going to use blue anymore, I'm just going to use clear UV resin. Just a tiny, tiny bit. I don't want to have a big cluster of, you can do so if you want to. I'm trying to separate these. Just a tiny, tiny bit. I'm going to put that back in. I'm going to use that one in there. So this is just transparent UV resin that I'm going to put on top. And this time I'm going maybe up to the edge, not completely. in case I want to add a little bit more and I'm going to fill so I don't know yet if I do fill the little stars here because I didn't put anything in there yet or if I leave them to totally transparent that's another way to go I'm not sure I'm moving this around everywhere just like I did before All right, so this has cured, and now we're going to cover all these ugly things around here. So, you've got different ways to do this. One of the ways is to use acrylic paint. Um, you can use for the trees, of course, some green paint. You can use gold everywhere. You don't have to make the trees uh, green. And there is another option. If you don't feel like doing so, because you might uh, put a little paint outside your trees and you don't feel comfortable with it well I have another option to give you oops let me come back here sorry about that and this is exactly what I have done on the other project that I've made here is that I didn't use any paint I used a marker um, not even a marker this these are gel pens and this one has a little bit of glitter and I'm going to cover these trees, I'm going to make them green, they're going to have a little bit of glitter, and they're going, maybe not on the, um, this is a bit too late, I should have made the star here gold, but it's okay, I can always come back on top, and I'm going to make my trees have a little bit of glitter, hide everything that was not nice, and it really is easy. I would make sure before putting your resin on top, because we are going to cover it up uh, with more resin, that everything is really well dry, that your glitter um, gel pen is dry. Okay, and it's so quick to do. Sometimes, you know, I have the gel pens, I love gel pens, and you know what, I never use them. Why? I don't know. But now I'm going to use them, and there's a good way to use them up. Because if you have them in your stash for a while, they might clog. So whenever you can, use them up. And I'm going to stop there. And you can have different types of gel pens, different colors, different greens. Use different brands if you can afford them, because you'll have different effects. So I'm going to do this on all my trees. Maybe try different greens and I'll come back and do the outside here. I'm going to do that in a golden color, also using a gel pen. And I'm going to use this one, which is also very transparent, but very uh, gold color. And I'll be back when this is done, doing the exact same thing. All right, so I have colored everything. All my trees are in green and all their surroundings now of my ornament is in gold. So as you can see, I also put a little bit of black to, because I wanted to, here just in the in some spots on the trees, I wanted to give more maybe dimension to it, but not too much. I think I'm gonna leave the two stars here empty because I'm gonna put this into my Christmas tree and with the lights of the Christmas tree, the lights are gonna show through as well and I think I'm gonna like that. So not everything is colored and I really appreciate. So before now, I really end up, I'm going to put a last coat of resin on top here on everything 
and I'm going to be generous and again I'm going to use a Q-tip I'm going to avoid the big areas where the stars are and I'm just going to cover the rest I'm going to use my Q-tip and try to make things first a little bit flat I'm just going to again drag this everywhere so it's going to fill up all the gaps and right up to the edge there so use as much as you need whoops again come slowly a little at a time don't have a heavy hand on this and I'm spreading everything right up to the edge and I will probably to the, do this in two steps the first step the first layer is going to be flat quite flat and then I'll come up and do a second layer and I will show you this too so again I'm going to finish that up put it under my UV lamp and come back in just a second alright after two minutes the first layer is dry and I'm just going to put a second one so it's going to be a little rounded on the top and I think it's much nicer to look at and also because there might be some spots you have forgotten so for the last layer I'm going to do the exact same thing but I'm maybe not going straight up to the edge and I'm going to stop I'm going to show you let me just put some here enough I'm going to use that my Q um, stick again and I'm going to stop just there the first time I went right up to the edge here the second time I'm just going to stop right there so it's going to have even more dimension to it you will be probably not be able to pick it up on camera but if you do do this project yourself you'll see what I mean if you do so you'll have this uh, more 3D effect if you stop just where I showed you just right here alright so last thing I want to talk about before taking uh, the um, the adhesive away is I would consider flipping it over now let me show you can you see how it's well domed on the sides there can you see that you can also see it around the empty stars that it has a dome kind of thing you can see the light making some kind of yeah you can see it there so that's really nice when you look at it in real life you can really see the difference that it's domey and it's look it looks more professional and a finished look so now flip it over and you're going to bake it also on this time, I mean bake it, it's probably not the proper word, but let's say cure it on this side as well. And you can see that this side, uh, the blue one up to the, uh, the trees as well, can you see this? So you can do the exact same thing, especially here because there's no word, it's going to be able, you're going to be able to make it look nice on both sides. So go ahead, uh, first cure it before taking the double side, uh, not the double sided tape, but the tape away. And then you'll be able to come back with your gel pens, color your trees or with acrylic paint, and then make it dry. And for the final touch, put another layer on of resin to really make it look nice on both sides. First, I'm going to cure this, and then I'll take the tape away. Okay, so this has cured, and I always cure everything by uh, two minutes, sessions of two minutes, because it's not thick every time, so two minutes is good. And now I'm going to take the tape off. As, as you can see, I am not really taking, um, pulling that way, I'm pulling that way, like kind of parallel to my decoration here. And I'm going slow just in case and nothing seep through. Can you see that? I like the this way of putting the, the tape on now better than what I was used to do. That means I used to put the, the tape on the paper first and then put my ornament on top. Now I put directly it like this as I showed you in the beginning and I think it's much nicer. All right, I think it's really looking great. And I like the fact that it has this transparent look to it. We will be able to see again all the the lights behind. Let me come a little closer so you can see it even better. Yes, I really really like these colors. 
They are just beautiful. Look at that. How nice. Now what I'm going to finish up by, of course here you could put a little piece of ribbon on the back to hang it, but there's this extra something that I want to add just before, and it's using this fake note. So this is what we can find here uh, in Europe, and it's fake uh, snow with um, a lot of um, glitter inside. You won't be able to see the glitter right now, but I'm still going to put some and I'm going to put it this way. It's like a 3D effect snow that I'm going to put everywhere because I want this extra white in here. Because my tree is green, I know that people um, use many different colors for trees. My, I'm very um, classical, you know, Everything here in my house is green, red, white, and gold. Traditional colors, actually. And I want this to pop out more a little bit in my green tree. So this is why I'm putting all this uh, fake snow on top. So we'll be able to see it more. And I'm not trying to be even, certainly not. Don't be even, don't put, you know, fake doesn't fall evenly on things. I would do this before doing, uh, after everything is done. It's just something I want to show you. And probably make some snow come here a little bit in, on the front as well. There. And it will give this extra humph this more Christmassy look with the snow. I love snow. I don't have snow where I am or it doesn't fall every year. But I won't put it all around, just on the top here, up to almost up to the middle of my ornament. And there you go, something like this. And I think it makes it really, really nice. And then just put it something on some place where it can dry easily. And you will probably be able to see the glitter. The glitter, you can't see it when it's dry. This is not dry yet. And if you think there's not enough, honestly, it's really glittery. But if you think it's not glittery enough, just sprinkle some glitter on top. You can use any kind of paste. You can use even use thick uh, acrylic paint. And just on top, sprinkle some um, nice glittery, really nice glittery. You could use silver, you can use any color. Let me see if I change the color of my lights. Oh, I'm sorry. If you can see this better, if you can see the glitter, I'm not sure. It's not easy to show glitter on camera, but believe me, try it and it's just, oh, I love it. It's beautiful. It is glittery, what a shame. Anyway, so there you go. I hope you will do this project because it's really easy. If you like doing resin, you'll have fun. You don't need a lot of fancy stuff here because again, you can use acrylic paint and uh, glitter. Uh, you can use gel pens. I'm sure you have a lot of gel pens home. And if you have an idea, I wanted to use this dry, uh, this white gel pen. It just dried over me. It's brand new, never really used it, and it's not working. I tried to heat it up didn't work, I've scribbled a lot, didn't work. So if there is any way you can reactive, because there's still ink in there, to make it work again, please share that tip with me because I'd love to know. There you go, please give me some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and please share on social medias. And if you want to leave me any comments or any questions or any video suggestions, please leave them down below. Thank you so much, take care. And I know I'm really in advance, but Merry Christmas.